Right. Evening, board game geeks. Daddy here from Summer Games with John. Hello, hello. Uh, today we're going to be doing Cthulhu: The Horror in Dunwich uh, as a Kickstarter, successfully passed, and we're going to take you through it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've solo played it, so I know how horrible it is. <laughs> okay. Well, it's Cthulhu, so I'm expecting some pretty nasty stuff to happen. It's going to be terrible. Yeah. Uh, so we've got our library set up. We've got our uh, Elder God in play. Uh, the location in play, how much we're going to punch him in the face, our characters, I'm playing the bootlegger. Uh, I'm playing the hobo, because why not? And Shall we go through some of these decks, because there's quite a few of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got the library deck, that's essentially these cards. So it's going to give us different actions, equipment, spells, all the way through it. Uh, and we've got the Mythos deck, or Mythos, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, that's going to give the guard itself extra gribbly bits. Stuff, minions and things, yeah. Yep. Uh, what have we got next? Uh, derangement, when we hit, well, I hit 15. Yeah, 15 for me as well. Um, we so, draw a derangement card. So it's like phobias and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, the rest is a Mythos location and Elder oh. Guard deck, what we've already got. Not bad guys, yeah. Then sorted. Uh, the minions are ready. Okay. By the side, good stuff. And apparently, when you run out of minion cards, you're just gonna keep tally and keep adding more and more minions. <laughs> yeah, these, yeah. So, so best, uh, yeah, we'll get these. We'll get ready. So, are the minion cards specific to the Elder God we're using? Is that? Or, yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, that's good. I've, I've played it twice, and right. each one's uh, completely different. Okay. Uh, so, uh, every turn we're gonna draw five cards. Um, we're after Moxie, so we can recruit items and then beat the crap out of this guy however if we spend our moxie up here we can't use it to fight him and yeah simple as that we'll see how it goes oh yeah and if one of us gets a load of moxie and decides to buy everything the next player can't buy anything because oh, yeah. the yeah. library doesn't refresh so unlike most games that are deck builders these don't replenish until after we've all taken a turn uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. We'll see Explain how it goes. Like got a lot of health. Mm. Right, okay. So my first question is... <laughs> Do you want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> um, so under card types. Now, is this the price? Yeah, the price is up top, yeah. Okay, fine. Right. Interesting. So my little symbol here, that is relevant to these as well, is it? So your, si your symbol is slightly different. Same. No, that's it. Yep. Oh, yes, it is. Right, okay. I think it's to show it's a unique. Well, we'll see what happens. So, see what happens. Yeah. All right. I've got my five cards ready. Here come all the horrible cards. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's you do it in internal order. So away you go, Doddy. <laughs> it's going to be the common thing, unless it's competitive. Yeah. Uh, Oh god, I am. Um... So you can. We can we can discuss. Yeah, what you we've can got. show your cards and stuff. I'm not sure if I can show mine because technically I haven't drawn mine yet, because it's you draw five, then I draw five, so we can't plan ahead yet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you draw five cards. You may show your cards to your fellow investigators. That's fine, and then you start preparation step. So you play your cards face up. Right. So. In front of you. Standard cards. So. You get little sleuth cards, and then these wonderful things called stagger, and they're the worst one. I have the worst one in my hand, <laughs> but you don't have to play it. However, there are cards in the game that says you must play all cards in your hand, which uh, are horrible. So I have four sleuth that I'm playing, and I do not want to play my stagger card. <laughs> okay, so that gives you like a buying power then, essentially, doesn't it? I can either spend it now to buy um, a selection of cards to keep knocking the table. Hands off. Um, oh, right, okay. Wow. That's a good one to keep an eye on. Cruise investigator of the derangement. So I'm thinking. Um, uh, minions take additional two damage per attack from any investigator. So I'm thinking of taking a set trap mm -hmm. and a kick. Yeah. 
Just leave me one left to deal. Do you, point later do you on. have a gun? I believe you do. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, so, this symbol here, is that a pistol? Can have a little alcohol to stagger cards. He can heal four sanity when playing a stagger card. Don't need to. So this one is you gain two moxie if a gun has been played by you this round. Or maybe it's a gun equipment. Oh, I get, uh, no, but like gains two moxie on gun cards. Okay, so. That, uh, that is. This is interesting. Uh, I need a gun card. Yeah. There's not one so in Presumably yet. there are weapon cards in the deck then somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, we'll <laughs> I've already died by this point. <laughs> <laughs> Damn those elder gods. Yeah, and they're meddling so ways. They're so good. Mm. <laughs> okay, carry right, on. So learn as we go, learn as we go, learn as we go. Right, so, um, yeah, I'm going to keep one back with that, and I think I'll get the set traps. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take the kick. Okay. Which are spent, go to my discard pile. Okay, uh, so place a new cards research directly into your hand and then discard and activate the cards you use in your personal discard pile. What? It's going in my hand? Uh, yeah, so you do your preparation, then it's research, cards are available in the public library at Mississippi University to aid you in your fight to come. Use any moxie gain from the cards you activated during preparation to research new cards from the public library. I think. Oh no, next turn. Um, okay. Yeah, it's cards. So they go to my hand. Sweet. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, so it's a build up essentially. And then I think they get discarded at the very end. Anything you not use goes into the discard pile. Right. That is the deck building part, so I'm guessing. That is fine by me. Okay. I was playing it wrong on my own. <laughs> <laughs> so library cards may not be used to research other library cards in the same turn in which they're added to your hand. Ah, okay. That's why. Makes sense. Yeah, that's why. Oh, so I think you can, you can use your Moxie to. Put more cards down before, I think. Don't know. Anyway. Right. So, over to you. Okay, fine. Right, so I've drawn my five. What have we got? Oh, that's good. So, I have lots of sleuth. Sleuth, 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 sleuth. So, I've got five sleuth. So, what is this card? What does this card It cures mean? someone of derangement. Cures an investigator of derangement. It's, it's expensive. I'd rather you went with those two. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. That's going to stay in play until someone buys it, doesn't it? I think. No, well, in fact, um, I'm going to be aiming for a gun. Okay. Oh no, that gives you two moxie as well, doesn't it? Yeah. I'd go. Mm, up to you. Mm. I'm not. I'm not. I hate being that player who goes. No, you should do this. <laughs> well, I'm new to this as well. So what I'll do then is I'll take um, set traps. Yeah. So that's going to cost me two. And then I'm going to keep this moxie. With that moxie? Yeah, with that. Right. What, 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 right. Plan on preparation and refill the university? Yeah, it? so you, you, uh, so plan preparation, you may now play any additional cards you've researched or drawn this turn to activate them. These are two items, other two items. So moxie activates in the planning phase and not carry over into the combat phase. When you turn it into combat arrives, only mocks you still have in your hand when you played. That's fine by me. Okay. So, leap, impale, and a spell. What? Call of the Dead spell. You summon number of investigators plus one zombies. Each zombie intercepts an attacking, an attack during the combat phase. But it destroyed the result. Take two sats and eight damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I like that card. <laughs> okay, so we've refilled. Well, cards played this round, gain an additional one moxie. Wow. Okay. We've refilled the library. So I was reading ahead, I'm like, oh, yeah, hello. That's cool. So, the combat phase, the Elder God. So, we've got one of them, that's fine. Uh, so, where are we? So the Elder Guard go from lowest to highest in actions. Okay. They will then perform any special ability and or summon any minions as indicated on their guard. So what does he do? Deal each investigator that weird number, symbol. number of investigators minus three health uh, uh, minus three health damage. 
Okay, so there's two of us. So one. So one damage, because it's a minimum of one. Wait, where am I going here? Top one. Uh, they're both the same for me. <laughs> both the same for me. Um, I think the bottom one. The bottom one is your health. Yeah. We're going to go with that. Okay. Because it'll make sense. Yeah. Body, mind. Why not? Oh, sorry, could I keep reading? There's more. Uh, summon one group. Uh, Gnoff Kep. I think it's uh, a silent G. No. No? <laughs> it's like Gnome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Uh, so they go to play. Uh, deeply investigate with the highest sanity. Uh, number, number of investigators minus four health damage. So he's going to so be dealing two, two, two both the, the same sanity. Higher sanity. So uh, it's, it's simple. Okay. Roll off. Oh, this is the, you like being competitive, don't you? Yes. Well, I got f I got higher than you. So no. does that make me the target or you the target? Uh, I'll take the target. Okay. Okay. Loser okay. loses. Fine. Okay. So. And then he gets a Mythos card as well, doesn't he? Yeah, so <laughs> the Mythos cards are Evil Deeds, uh, and he gets one, because there's only two players. Okay. So execute the action, and will spawn a minion. <laughs> oh, God. Bending time. Play an additional number of investigators minus three Mythos cards. Okay, so that goes, it's active, but it's got its own discard pile. So that goes there, and we draw another one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ancient gold coins. Ah, uh, no. All right. We're taking it in turns to draw cards. <laughs> <laughs> does it affect you, does it? Yes. <laughs> Daily investigator drew this card. Uh, number of investigators plus one health damage. Damn it. <laughs> investigators each roll a die. The lowest roll gets the card shuffled into the personal library. Oh. It... I'll repeat this effect when it's drawn. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Okay. Okie dokie. So that's going into your... So I get three. Uh, so another 24. Uh, nope. Roll. Yes. What? <laughs> what am I rolling for? Are you rolling for this? Okay. Oh, right, yeah. This is... <laughs> Give me the bad card. <laughs> No, it shows. That goes into your... And when, when it's drawn again, that happens every single time. I feel. <laughs> I feel aggrieved. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. This is, this is great. Okay, so... Let's fight. <laughs> so, any minions in play, um, now take their actions. Oh, I've already done it. Okay, Skip fine, that. yeah. Uh, so, when no one's died, that's good. And then each investigator, in any order, may once again activate cards from their hand. They may use the special abilities on their library cards, and or they can total up their moxie to do the damage against the Elder Gods, and or their minions. And you can divide up between multiple enemies in any way you choose. What have you got? So I've got uh, set traps, so they take additional two from any investigator, as long as they take damage. And then I've got... Moxie. All oh, right, so I got the same set traps, but yeah, I got three, I got three Moxie as well. Okay, so which cards are you playing? Well, uh, there's only one minion. So if I do set traps, uh, yeah, I'll take care of the minion. I'll do set traps and kick. Which will give me additional two with kick, which makes it four, which is enough to smack him in the face. Okay. And then I'll have one left over, which knocks him down to nine. Okay, so my set traps is um, it's essentially invalid now because there's no more minions. Uh, so that leaves three moxie. So then, since I'm using just my fists, that, that's quite impressive. Uh, 36. Okay. I feel like we've uh, accomplished nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's uh, and so we clean up round. So you discard any cards you had uh, into discard pile. 
you uh, decide together to discard any unwanted cards from the public library. So nothing was discarded from that, was it? So, starting your round. I'm just looking. No, I think they're all right. Yeah, well, it's only for um, any unwanted cards from the public library. Oh, yeah, so. Discard any unwanted cards. Okay, that's good. So you do get to cycle through them. Um, I have no idea what's good or bad yet. So. Well, you're going first this time, and you're drawing the Mythos card. Cause... Oh, yeah, of course I am. Okay, fine. Right, <laughs> so, um, so I'm drawing my five cards first. There's going to be a lot of bad ones. One, two, three, four, five, because I didn't get any last time. So we've got one Moxie, a three star. two Moxie, <laughs> and three potentially horrible cards. So let's hope I don't get a... A card that says you must play all cards. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I get to buy stuff, don't I? Yes, yes, you do. Okay, so I've got two, or so it's either buy stuff or deal damage. You may as well start. Yeah, but I've only got off. two. Uh, yes, you got so, uh, impale, impale, and or aim. I'm gonna spend my two take in pale because that looks quite nice yeah it's quite a cool card is that some oh it's actually a vampire getting in pale that's um that's in my hand isn't it yes okay and that is my two moxie discarded that's all i can do for now mm -hmm. <laughs> oh uh a bit better than you three sloops and two staggers Even though you don't like it, that that's quite a good card. Oh, you've only got three. Oh, see, so you've got a choice of aim. You don't have to buy anything, to be fair. I know I don't have to buy anything. And I think keeping the minions to a minimum will be a better option. Mm -hmm. So I will keep what... I, I could heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> And I took the punishment last time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, until I start taking insanity damage, my special abilities don't kick in. I think I'm the same. Um, but I need a gun. I need a gun, mate. Yeah. I need a knife. A knife. Okay, so no purchases? Nope, we're good. Okay, so. It's the library. Does that go yet? Yeah, yeah. we'll skip right over through. Refill the university. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, thank you. Cloak of Fire. A cloak of Fire. Every card played by you, instant yeah. Elder Guard, does one additional damage. Open. Take one side damage. Yeah, I just left it open. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. So it's uh, final preparations, and then him. Yeah. <laughs> so the only card I'm gonna use is impale. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Do you have to draw Mathis card yet? Yeah, we've got Mathis, Mythos card, and him. So. Okay. Right. So. Uh, is it him then Mythos or Mythos then? It's him then Mythos. Him then Mythos. 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 Uh, deal each investigator one damage and summon a. Okay, so one of those. Okay, so uh, he's done. This, then this. <laughs> yeah, so Mythos and then the summon. Okay, yeah. so he's done. He's done the damage. Okay, and now it's onto this guy. What did he do? Deal the investigator with the highest sanity. Minus four health. So we need to. I'll let you take this one. <laughs> so what am I doing first, right? But you're doing the, the Mythos card first. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Because okay. you never know, I might say, oh, minions act twice. <laughs> Amorphous elders. What? Summon number of investigators minus three shot If Uber Saffler is an active elder guard, summon minus one instead. Okay. So summon a shot off. That's terrible. They're meant to be like the worst things in the world, aren't they? Shut off. It's kind of in the wrong place where it should be, but yeah. Okay. 
Hey, shut off. Right, now, my question now is... So, that's the card, I'm off his elders. So, he's activated. Yes. Right. Now okay. they activate. Now they activate. Okay, so, with the smallest, least health to highest. So, in this order. So, rolling a dice, are we, to see who... Which one? This one? Yeah. No, so you're having this one. Am I? I took sick last time. <laughs> <laughs> did we not roll for it last time? I think we did last time. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, we're, we're, we're going to carry on with that, oh, that trend. God damn. <laughs> Come on, roll six. Damn it! <laughs> I'm actually doing two. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Six. So it's not too bad. And then Mr. Shoggoth. Deal all investigators three health and sanity damage. Oh, well, I think we need to get rid of him pretty quick. Uh, so we got 18, uh, uh, 27 there. So yeah. for each point of sanity damage the hobo takes, he gains two moxie. For each point of damage. For each point of... Okay, so I've got six moxie now. He's yours. <laughs> <laughs> you can take care of the showgirl, please. And, um, okay, nice. so it's the... Our turn, it's combat phase now. Yes. Okay. So you activate cards from your hand. Okay. So I'm not activating any of those because obviously they're pretty bad. So I have six Moxie and I've got Impale which gains two Moxie. It's eight Moxie. Eight Moxie, I think I'm going to get rid of Shoggoth. Okay. Because he's pretty bad. <laughs> Where do you go, Shoggoth? And that is me out. Oh no. So uh, I'm only going to be dealing three. Oh. So. Now, when he takes damage, do we have to kill him outright? Um, I don't think he actually says that. Okay, check if they've dropped any enemies to zero health. If so, the enemy is defeated and banished to the respective discard pile. Hmm. Um. I'll deal it to... It's going to be... Because then I'm going to have to grab some counters for this. <laughs> uh, we could always use this one. I'm trying to find whether or not he's outright killed, or if he he's left on one at the end of the turn or not. Yeah, I think I looked last time. I couldn't discern. I went with it did because it was more fun. Okay, well let's let's house rule it for now then. So <laughs> so we can whittle away at people. Be on. Uh, so I'm going to put them down to one. I'm not playing the other two. Because <laughs> the stack is bad. Okay, so do you want to get rid of any of these? Um, no, because I'm quite close to drawing a derangement. Okay, so you want that QR card? <laughs> <laughs> it might be a good idea. Okay. Depending on what the derangement is, I mean, it could be a beneficial derangement. <laughs> So your special abilities are actually quite good. Well, in fact, do we need the zombies? It's quite an expensive one, and currently we're not getting any... Not getting any better cards, are we? Although, to be fair, you can spend Moxie from other source of cards, can't you? Yeah. If there is any. Okay. Oh, I'm going first this time. Damn it. You never really. Bit of limelight. Oh, I don't want that one. So I got five. Moxie. Do you want to spend it all? That's the question. Uh, summon zombies. I might have to take it. Hello. Oh, are you filming? Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We'll get involved in the game at some point. Yeah, I'm gonna take the. Yeah. 
So, what are you doing? I took the call of the dead. Okay. So, <laughs> so that goes into your hand, I believe? Yeah. Yeah. Well, still have. But you've got to get rid of your... Okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> One day, it'll the, be professional. It'll be perfect. The, the joys of having a <laughs> person staying here. Uh, so yeah, um, that allows me to summon to summon a uh, number of investigators plus one zombies. Uh, each zombie intercepts an attack during the combat phase, but is destroyed as a result, and I take two sanity damage. Okay, so it's essentially saving you health damage, but dealing you sanity damage. Yeah. Okay. But it's a it's a full stop. Take two sanity damage. So I do it, and I take two sanity damage. Interesting. I don't know if there's zombie cards in this. <laughs> uh, if not, I'll just. I think they're just there to block damage, aren't they? So and then they go, presumably. So I have three when it happens. When it happens, okay. So on to me. Yes. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. So I've got some set traps, a horrible wound, and three moxie. So. Do I want to... I was only going to take one Moxie to kill him, but to use set traps you have to do damage yes. and just do damage itself. So have you got any Moxie left? No, I am... Um, I have a wall of zombies. So, mind you, saying that, that's not going to do any good. No, it's not. Yeah, because you can't attack. <laughs> So you uh, might want to save it because you're gonna have a brand new one come in to play anyway. This is true. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. Okay. So if I was to do that, I'm gonna save two Moxie. If you save all of it, you'll be able to take care of him and the new one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Unless you're desperate for something. Good point. No, well, yeah. I mean, it'd be nice to have a, a natural deck build, but yeah. Okay, so I'm doing. Nothing. I know you were looking at the leaf there. That was, was yeah. Looks quite good. <laughs> Can't afford it. Uh, okay, so, um, the trick is here, unfortunately, there's only so much moxie you can get at this stage of the game from your cards, so you really got to be careful about, like, what you buy. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at, like, uh, is, yeah. is that happening? It's, uh, <laughs> that's why I got zombies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, we are done. My zombies are in play. Brrr. Okay. Does that affect everyone, or just you? Uh, no, it's just me. Okay. So, does your special ability give anything for gaining sanity or losing sanity? Uh, yes, he does, but I know that these little do he's here attack the person with the highest sanity. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay. <laughs> Down your eyes. Okay, well, it's your turn to draw the cards. Well, no, because so. he goes first. Do you each investigate here at one point of damage? One point of damage. Down to 17, out of 30. Uh, he summons another. That guy. Mimus <laughs> oh, That's great. Oh no! <laughs> uh, deal each investigator uh, number of investigators plus one health damage, so three health damage. Three health damage. I'm starting to think the bottom one isn't. Um, one, two, three. You might be right, because it's a halfway point when you go nuts, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's the same for me as it is. On either wall, so it's fine by me. And yeah, it's fine by me. Well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, so it is. Mm. So I can quickly. Yeah, I can. I can swap. Easy. So twenty-seven yeah. and twenty-one. Twenty-seven. That's what you get for not reading the rules properly. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Fine. fine. Okay. So he has done his thing. Now we're going to the minions. So lowest health first. Oh wait, that doesn't take the damage from him. Dirty cheat. Zombies! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Okay. All right, so uh, they both did the same thing. Deal the investigate with the highest sanity. Uh, number of investigators minus four health damage, so two each. Two each. Oh no, it's you. Yeah. It's a cooperative game. <laughs> <laughs> Push you into the firing line. <laughs> Go, zombies! I've still got two left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so they have both acted, so... Does this get... Is this, this is in play. Does it, it, does it say permanent, or is it just... You summon each zombie... Uh, 
I guess. And intercepts an attack during the combat phase, but is destroyed as a result. Oh, so. Alright, so it's not permanent, it will go back into your hand, but. I want it to stay in play. You get to draw it out next time, so. Yeah. So, what damage are you doing? Oh, yeah. What? You're doing no damage, right? I'm doing none. Okay. Because I'm these. Alright, so. I should use one Moxie to take out the first minion. Then I should use set traps on the second minion and do two more damage to destroy that one as well. And Bakwa is still untouched. No, I he took a chunk out. Well, him. yeah, but he's he's laughing in his mortal well, immortal. I life. wanted to keep my zombies in play, which I'm not maybe. It's true. <laughs> so we've got one, two, three, four. This now. Uh, we should have reset this, shouldn't we? But never mind. Do you want to get rid of any? Well, let's reset it. Over. Ooh. Um, no. Okay. We're gonna have to take a risk and dive in and just buy and just take the hit. If we can. Yeah. Well, you've got the bag of coins coming up, so. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm not allowed to look at mine yet. Two, three, four, five. You're first. Okay. So stagger. Oh yeah, ancient gold coins. Deal the investigator that drew this card. Um, number of players plus one health damage. Okay. So, three damage. Oops. Because you took damage, you got more moxie. No, it's only nuts when I. Only um, sanity. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, investigators each roll a dice. The lowest roll gets this card shuffled into their personal library. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Back in the game. Oh, that's a oh, six, that's a right? Six. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's mine now. There you go. I'm going to put it in the middle of it. So it shuffles properly. So I've got three Moxie. I'm not taking any sanity damage. So for three, I could buy something, but then you might be able to damage you need in any damage either. I would. What do these do? Every card played by you against the other guard does additional one damage. Take one sanity damage. I will buy this because sanity damage is good. I For think. you, yeah. I hope. But. Oh no. That is me spent on Moxie. <laughs> Two staggers and a free sloop. Um, I am probably going to join you in the spell slot just to clear some space. And it will be better later on. <laughs> uh, because you play, play, play you against an old god. Well, that's a point of spell, so I'm going to put it in my thingy straight away. Okay, so that's us done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, refresh the library. Ooh. Ooh. Elder Seal. Reduces a total of 570 damage this round. Oh, so more can be dealt. Marvellous. <laughs> you may avoid all damage this round, however, you also cannot attack this round either. That's you run away. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, right, so I believe it's your turn to draw. Is it? No. Yes. <laughs> Nodding profusely. No, because you went first. <laughs> I don't believe you, but okay. Someone somewhere on YouTube will be watching this going, yeah, he was right. Yeah. Okay, so my first card first. No, him first. Him first. Okay, right. He has one damage. It's getting pretty bad. Then he summons that guy. Okay. <laughs> and right. I draw that guy. I draw the Mythos card. Yeah, because I, I got Dragon's Flame last time. Darkness personified. Why not? Oh, interesting. Each investigator discards the next hand they draw. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, fine. Okay. So yeah. Oh right. So that's 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 the thing that's happening. Oh, uh, we actually forgot as well. The ancient tomb. All minions have two times their health. We should oh. have remembered that, but never mind. We'll start that now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and also. That uh, would have made it a lot more. We difficult. don't get to draw a hand this turn. This game is hard. <sighs> okay. So um, I got nothing. Oh wait. There, there he goes. Yeah. Because with the highest sanity. How much have you got? Twenty-seven. Oh, no. Some planned it. <laughs> <laughs> what am I taking? Uh, uh, two. Two health damage. Oh dear. 
Yes. I think we need more players. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got nothing. Yeah. Um, we don't get to use any cards on our next hand. Discards the next hand they draw. So you have to go through it anyway. One, two, three. Oh, I'm going to shuffle well. Uh, I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to flip them over in, in one stack. For, for the interest of our viewers, I'm going to look at my cards and go, why? No. So, yeah, it's not a bad hand, you know. Three Moxie and Impale are just discarded. Uh, I looked, but two staggers, set traps, and two sleeves. It'll be fine. I'm first this time. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so if I wait, 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 backstep it. Should we get rid of that one? <laughs> run. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Who needs to run away from the immortal terrors? Right. Go. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Prepare warding each investigator. Number of investigators plus one. Oh, number of investigators plus one temporary health for this round. Oh. You get temporary health? Yes. How much? Number of investigators plus one. We get three temporary health. Once someone gets it. Once someone. Oh, well, that's not going to be long. Okay. <laughs> Carry on, Donnie. <laughs> Straight to this guy. Yeah. So, uh, one health each. Uh, down to 30. Down to 10, because somebody keeps... Then this guy things. comes into play. Yay. Oh, no, we got some... <laughs> Here's <his> card. <clears throat> Dying star. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, summon number of investigators minus three. Zulba says... If Morgan is the active elder he is god... not. Summon number of investigators instead. So one bull, bull zool buzzer. Uh, do, 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 do. Hounds, ghouls. Not in that lot. I got zool buzzer. Yay! <laughs> Bulbazer. So each investigator, minus one, so one. Health damage, all right, deal each investigator one health damage. Deal the investigator with the lowest health one additional health damage. Really? We started this. So everyone <laughs> takes one, and then <laughs> I take another one. I don't like that guy. I think he's... Um, all right, and then... Um, uh, deal the investigator with the highest sanity minus four so two health damage each so four yeah uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> oh dear well you're soon on your own Donnie yeah oh we get rid of <laughs> these cards they're all quite expensive one two five right so um, oh, wait. these two you want to get rid of those two? Yes. And the derangement? Yeah. Because that's been sat there. And it will give us... Hopefully three cheaper good cards. Because Leaf is actually really good. Mm. <sighs> Come on. Oh. Ooh. Chainmail? You wow. might want to get that. <gasps> Excalibur. Oh, yeah, not know. for ten moxie though. Ooh. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Any damage dealt to mi minion heals your health by that amount. Take four sanity damage. It's, oh, that would be awesome. But I don't know what I'm getting yet, so purchase away. No, it's you. Is it me? Because I went last time. Okay. My turn was quite quick because I didn't have a hand. <laughs> None of us had a hand. Yeah. Okay, Oop. right. So we've got two Moxie. An action, a stagger, and cloak of fire. I think you should take the steel life. Every card played by you against elder gods does one additional damage. Oh, okay. I need to have Moxie. Then don't buy anything. Mm. And I need to have Moxie to set traps, which is annoying. I can still do that. 
I suppose. I take one sanity damage when I do. However, when I take sanity damage, I gain more moxie. Alright, uh, what's your sanity on? 27. So on to you, sir. I'll be the one taking the damage this turn. Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. We got kick, sleuth, cloak of fire, sleuth, sleuth. Oh no, it's not good. Oh, that's good, it's messed up my plan. I was gonna use a stagger card to heal me sanity, so I went up to 29, so I'd take the damage <laughs> off the fall. Uh, no. Um, I can't buy cards for you, mm -hmm. sadly. So I'm thinking if I take a oh, hyphen's on double health, isn't it? Uh, minions are, yes. Uh, which is a good point. But, um, but oh yeah, might well, just make a difference in a minute. We're going to die, Doddy. We're going to die. Yep. In Dunwich. One, two, three, six, seven. I can deal seven damage to the Elder God this turn if I survive. <laughs> Oh no, that's not wrong. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine damage from one sanity. Well, I'm going to go all out as a discussion on the Elder God. I'm going to play. You're going to be dead. I'm not going to. Well, I'm going to play at that anyway because I get one sanity damage here. That's another um, point of damage, and everything I do is uh, an additional one damage against the Elder God. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Although it's every. Oh no, yeah. Mm. It's tricky. But yeah, you're gonna die though. Mm. I'm gonna die. I'm like, Why is that, buddy? Why do you think I'm gonna die? Because you started this. <laughs> you wanted to be the big goddamn hero, daddy. You started this. <laughs> so one damage to each of us from the old guard. <laughs> I'm on a level. <laughs> Yay! Mm -hmm. It's just your not mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Right, so staggers to one side. So I'm going to play set traps anyway. You can't because you need to draw this. Card oh, I do, before. don't I? Oh. I mean, you still got these guys to go. As that says, minions don't act this turn. You had to say it, didn't you? <laughs> Solar flare. Investigators are unable to act in the combat phase. Oh, this round. God! <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my word. word. Okie dokie. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, carrying on. So, uh, so we go from lowest to uh, highest. <laughs> each investigator, number of investigators, minus one health damage, and then deal the investigator with lowest health one additional damage. So I take two. I take one. And then I die. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> then I take four, I want six, I'm the able to... No. However, after death, the hobo showed his fellow investigators how to turn pain into moxie once per round. That's you, only you. One investigator chosen by the hobo may gain moxie when taking sanity damage each round. Cool. So be nice to me and I might... Do you, do you come back as a new player? Is that? I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll read the rules. Why did I did I spawn? I don't believe I've this. not I've not spawned another one. So uh that gives me another two damage. Uh you quickly look up that. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and cry a little. Um because I know I've got a bag of coins in my hand. And if you're not in play then I'm dead. <laughs> Oh no, I'm on one hit point. <laughs> oh god. It's not looking good. <laughs> now, see, if we had more moxie, we could have spent it to gain health or sanity. Yeah, we could have. Price of two for one. But, but since moxie is quite low on the, uh, on the pile. There's the guns in here. <laughs> what a look. I'm like, where are the guns at? <laughs> um, but but it, it makes sense because any other Cthulhu game, weapons aren't necessarily that effective. So, so they're quite rare. The problem is, um, 
I got eighteen gold coins, which is going to deal me free damage anyway. Yeah. Because just don't count it as an investigator, so I'll be on one health. Yeah. Then I got zombies. Which. How, how many zombies did you get? Three. Okay. Um, and then I've only got two sleuth, um, which were zombies with block three points of damage coming in, or three sources of damage, which would be that one, that one, that one. I need to summon another one. Yeah, I'm dead. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Shall we? Kafuru! <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, okay, so running commentary then. Let's let's keep this going. Um, what happened, Daddy? What happened? Um, well, I'll tell you what happened. First of all, we found ourselves in the Cthulhu Mythos and um, died horribly, which, as you probably know, happens to most characters in any Lovecraft. I'm taking that as a win, though. We dealt, like, four <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> four points of damage. Yeah, out of 40. Beautiful. Um. Wow, Excalibur. Cheers. I I want to know how you get ten Moxie in that in that part of the game. I don't know, John, because I keep dying round about this okay. round. Okay. So because there must be things that get you more Moxie because you, you can't just have the five. Or I'm seven. just gonna quickly skim through. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Unless it's like a. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Cataclysm, summon another Elder God. Why not? <laughs> That's an actual thing. So the, well, the one thing I'm noticing about this game is that there are so many combinations oh. of Elder Gods and Mythos, and the chance of you winning any one of these games is pretty slim. Yes. So playability-wise, or replayability, there is a lot if there you is a stomach. Yeah, there's a huge amount. If you if you don't mind losing that game. Yeah, exactly. Um yeah, it's there's 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 plenty. Um and it, kind of thinking about it, if it's that easy to die, then you're gonna go through games quite quickly. Although if we have more players, then Oh there's swords. Yeah, there's all sorts in there. It's stuff I didn't think would be in there. Um but the more players you have, the oh, less damage that goes around people. So, you know, when there's two players, it's one of us is taking the damage. Yeah, when it's one player and, I don't know, you've got Dagon, the god of, I'm going to stab you yeah. in the face. Um, that's when it goes completely wrong because, um, where have I put him? In here. Right. So, let me find Dagon. Just to give you an example of what I dealt with in my first solo playthrough. Okay. So, an investigator chosen randomly... Must play all cards in their hand and use all moxie gain against the highest health investigator doing health damage. <laughs> so on a roll of one to six, it's you. <laughs> so, yeah, this was like, right, so any moxie I have to spend before oh. I even encounter Dagon. And in the rules it says, oh, recruit more cards into your hand because it will help you against the minions later on. It doesn't help you against Dagon because he will just keep yeah. telling you, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> so... So if anyone's not familiar, Dagon lives underwater. So he's quite hard to get to. So, yeah. Um, that was my first solo playthrough against him. I got probably to about the same point and went, nope. <laughs> because not only that, um, on the first activation, he summons a deep one. Yeah. So that came into play. So I hit, hit, me hitting myself, the deep one hitting me, and then on the second turn, I got the Mythos out, which is summon more day, uh, deep ones. Right. If Dagon is the guard, you summon this amount of deep, oh, as deep ones. I was like, okay. So deep ones are like the fish people from Underwater, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> or, you know, just the population of Innsmouth. Wonderful. Yeah, so, um, I don't even know. I can't remember what they did. They just did my head in. Cause it must be, I think that only quite strong. Stop them. Yes. And so six health. Deal the investigator with the highest health which was me. Number of investigators, minus three health damage. All allies in play are destroyed. Wow. Yes. So that, like, you zombies and things. Yeah, so, no, that was a spell. Okay. Um, there are allies in there, apparently. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a look. Let's have a look. 
<laughs> so that looks nasty. Yeah. Uh, become Spectral Hunter. Gain six Moxie. Take three sanity damage. That would have been beautiful. There's lightning gun. Yeah. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, Francis Morgan. Oh, we have uh, a... While Francis is activated, he heals one investigator for a number of investigates health once per round. Nice. The silver key. I like the silver key. Good story. Kill one minion immediately. If the ultimate gate location is active, you can kill two additional minions. Six marks to get it though. I'm not even looking. <sighs> Sigil inscribed bullets. Look at that. Although it looks like a thermos. I was I was hoping it was a thermos of hot tea. That would have been a brilliant card. <laughs> Uh, oh, here we go. Warren Rice. Yeah. Dr. Astrid Puro? Puro? Holy Water. I don't think you shuffle these very well. A broadsword. See, now a hobo with a broadsword would have been I didn't shuffle I shuffled I split the deck. Are you sure? Because yeah. look, 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 look. Yeah, you shuffled them really well. Well, this is what happens when you run shuffle. <laughs> so, yeah, th th there is equipment in there that's actually quite helpful. Um, I want to look at the derangement cards, but I'm not going to because I want to see what happens. You, you want to feel the full effect. I want to feel the full effect when it comes out, so I'm going, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Rifle. There you are. Gain four, Moxie. And it's only yeah. three. It's only three. So well, I think with me, it would have been better. I guess if we had more people playing, you'd get through these cards faster. Although, actually, you probably wouldn't because you only replace them at the end. But then you're relying on each other, go, right. You've only got a little bit of moxie, you buy and then we'll attack. Yeah. And then you take it in turns to buy your gear. Except like the gaming group I play with is just like, I need the power belt. <laughs> so Oh, okay, this is interesting, but it's not, it's gruesome. There's a spell called Flesh Graft. Pretty. Hill investigator. Um and then you take two sanity damage. So yeah, so you heal the number of the number of investigators there are and then take two standard damage which is good for the hobo it's good for the hobo because you know hobos love stitches apparently <laughs> <laughs> living armour because those so, chick dig scars <laughs> there are a lot of helpful cards in here broadsword that are quite cheap um, yes. we just didn't get any a butcher's cleaver always always good reckless driving ooh gain two moxie take one health damage all good they are good. Like, I saw the lightning gun and just skim past it. <laughs> it, was, it was five to cast and I was just like, well... Yeah, Charles' spear gun. Gained five moxie. So yeah, there's actually... If we had these cards in, then we'd stand more of a chance. Musket. Wow, okay. If the musket lands the killing blow, you receive a coonskin capper's gear. I'm guessing that does something else. Coonskin. We've got a bit of Matrix going on. The flat <laughs> Now I need to find... We've got hand grenades. Ooh. Dark resurrection. Resurrect a fallen investigator to half health and sanity. Take 10 sanity. Ah, oh, there's locations as well. So, household and things. So this sounds quite nice. Actions gain double the boxy. The more I play it, the more uh, these cards will be shuffled, probably. <laughs> Bit of cane sword. Everyone loves a cane sword. So, yeah. So, actually, to be fair, I think we just... We were, I found it. We were unlucky on the start. <laughs> um, Coons, which <laughs> I was actually do. Uh, while equipped, take two less health damage from each minion. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's actually really good. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I'll but... find the lightning gun again. Uh, shoots a bolt that will hit all active enemies for number of investigators plus two damage. Wow. And I do an extra two with my guy. So, I, in actual fact, <laughs> I think we were just unlucky there. I think if we had extra players, you, it's more uh, cooperative, isn't it? Uh, but I would happily play this again. But it, it is a fun game. It's uh, Once you get into the flow of it, it's straightforward. Yes. Um, but as ever, when you're playing a game for the first time, it takes a little bit of time to get into it. That was pure horrible. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Thumbs up for terror. Yeah. Thumbs up for terror. I can't, I was, oh, I was meant to look so how much it cost me, but it wasn't a lot okay. uh, when it was released on Kickstarter, which came with additional character cards, uh, additional playing cards. Um, what are you just going to... I'm, I'm going to have a quick look now, yeah. Um, I think additional uh, Mephos locations, which I haven't looked at them all, but... 
I don't want to at the same time because <laughs> I like to have the surprise of like a game going, Rah, I'm gonna murder you with murder stuff, and it's just like, <laughs> all right. Um, now is this who made this one? This was made by them guys. <laughs> On the back, maybe. Oh, game, game. Yeah. Game. I have found the right website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to go Kickstarter. But yeah. Well, there's uh, that too. So uh, on the Kickstarter, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. We are looking at. Dare you open this box? Uh, yes, and then no. Uh, so you can still late pledge. That's good. Um, we can are. You? Yeah, apparently, according to this. What? Yeah. Wow. Awesome. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I imagine so. For anyone who's a fan of the Cthulhu Mythos, uh, yeah, if there's a late pledge still up there and you can still get hold of this, I do it. I will say, though, uh, a few people have pointed out to me that I need to card protect them. Uh, the cards are quite thin. Yeah, um, if you've got deck protectors, though, that's going to be a big stack of cards but the people who point out once you put them in deck protectors it doesn't fit in the box properly does it not no ah, okay well i mean it's not like you're playing magic the gathering where you're going through stuff quickly and think this is a game you can take your time on you play it on a nice board you get your little neoprene thing yeah. so it's quite nice and to be honest i don't use deck protectors i never have them. i'm not with this one i will with some of my other games so um as i pointed out in another video <coughs> <Very nice. laughs> Oh, yeah. So I mean the, the so the, the the occultist pledge here is fifty dollars um, American dollars, which is about forty quid, and that gets you the box game plus all the stretch goals. Yeah, I think that's what I went for. Yeah, and to be honest, it looks like it's the most three hundred. I know, all in for ninety two pound, you can get the boxed copy, a deck building game remastered, the play mats, and your name printed on box or instructions. I didn't do that. Well, it's probably it's too late for that now. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's quite a few of those. People Never too late. Yeah. So do you know what I I might do if it's still there? I might do a late backer on that one just to get it early. Mhm. Mm um. But yeah, that's not too bad. It's for, as a price go, there's a lot of stuff in the box. It's a nice looking box. It's something that, that instills terror from your bookshelf. Uh. So yeah, I like it. Yeah. Are there going to be any expansions? Do you think? I would have hoped so. Um, I don't think they've touched upon... I think this is a, a, a smidge of the world of <laughs> Cthulhu right now. Well, you've got... So you've got all the main kind of arch bad guys and things. You've got... I assume some of these are Kickstarter add-ons. Like, yeah. These are all the characters. There is tons of characters to play. I haven't counted how many there are, but there's, there's absolutely loads. Yeah, so Hobo, Cowboy... There's all sorts of reporters, so it's probably I don't know what twenty there or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll count up and and do that later. Um, yeah, they got the typical. Uh, on my first playthrough, I went as the medic who could heal uh, one health, one sanity, which was pretty cool when you're on your own. But it was day gun, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. So yeah, so I wonder how much how further you get through with like three or four players. And sort of look at the different characters and work out which ones are going to work out the best. Synchronise with each other. Yeah. But I don't like that sort of play. I yeah, I, I'm always... I, Sometimes I do. I just I want to beat the game so we have to play <laughs> synchronised. Yeah, I prefer organic play as well, but sometimes you just got to think about it a bit more. And then sometimes I'm like, no, random. So uh, comparing it to other deck building games... Um, I think it's it, it runs very similar. It's a deck building game. It doesn't get much difference, you know. If you've got a nice neoprene mat to play on, fine. But I think like, I think this is harder than the aliens game. Oh yeah, this is. I play the aliens game with all aliens drones shuffled in. Right. Okay. Into each level. Yeah. So I I I play to the max on that, mm. and I find by the time you've gone through everything, it's easier and I tried it doing minimal where you just put one drone in and then yeah. you're hitting the end game quicker right and that's still doable but you've yeah. got to be quick yeah, yeah this I reckon this is going to take a while to beat the crack yeah I'll be interested to see how often we can do it so let's get some more people and let's play it again yeah we'll do it through Twitch as well next time yeah yeah we'll get that set up somehow 
<laughs> this would be easy. Don't know how yet, but yeah. Excellent. We'll, we'll go with that. Okay, so my general feeling for this game, um, other than really liking it, uh, it's dark, it's desperate, the artwork's cool and adds to the atmosphere. <laughs> I would play this game by candlelight, you know, with like black hangings on the wall and spooky music in the background. It's yes. that sort of game. Yeah, it, it lives up to uh, what Cthulhu is all about, the Elder Gods are all about. It's just, you are going to die, it's just how long... <laughs> yeah. It takes yeah. you to die. And Normal people caught in unfortunate circumstances. It's just like, can you last to the point where the rest of your friends can manage to end the game? <laughs> and I like the way as well, even after death, your character can still do things. You still, yeah, you still, still part of that, that game still. You just can't do anything else. It's, yeah. It'd be nice if you just like draw a new play mat and start with that but I, mean, I think by the time you've hit that point where one person's dead you're like yeah oh. you've got to start your deck again and, but then there's quite a lot of stuff to go through so but then I could see it's escalating by the time you one person's out then you're relying on three people let's say this four player to mm. take on and they're dealing with that three points of damage yeah. coming at them over mm. three so by the time the new player steps in it's like hi guys how are you <laughs> oh god <laughs> what did I walk into it's been one turn, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what else to say about it. It's a thoroughly good game. Yeah. The I artwork's hate, pretty cool. I hate it. <laughs> Until I beat it, I'm going to hate it. <laughs> it's a love I, I'd love to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Definitely get it. Um, we do have announcements as well. Do we? Go yeah. on. We've got the brand new second edition of Gothic Game here. We do. Um, can we show the box? Oh, we got, oh, we've got the original box, but not the... We've no got the original box. box. There's no new box because it's a prototype. Okay. Um, and the gent, Chris, has asked us to play it and be nice <laughs> and constructive at the same time. So we've we got the original to play. Then we've got the new one to play, which I've quickly glanced at the rules and it's changed the rules. For those okay. of you familiar with the Goth game, he's added... An additional dice which you roll with your movement dice which gives you effects on your turn which will influence pretty much what you do on your turn mm -hmm. um the set traps in the dungeon as well uh these were related to the um the red squares on the original board they're still red squares but actual trap squares mm -hmm. some of them could throw you in the moat as per usual yeah uh, the whole map layout is different i had a quick look at it and went this is not right <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I mean, if you're going to redo something, you, you can learn from yeah. mistakes and things. Uh, secret passages are still in it. Uh, power of adjacency is still in it. Mm -hmm. I think I told you about that. Yeah. You just land next to someone, you take their next turn, which is <laughs> awesome. Um, I didn't look at the board fully, and if you took out the spiral, great spiral staircase, I don't <sighs> have to have words. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we shall see. But so are we going to do a comparison then? We're going to play the old and the new. Sort we're of going to play the old and the new. Do a comparison. Um, once we've done that, we are going to announce that we are giving away the original copy that we've got, the 1992 version of the Goth game. Really? And it'll only be us who have touched it. <laughs> okay. So that's our our giveaway. That sounds good. Mum, Dad, I'm putting you on the list for that, just in case you win it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Um. For that, we'll probably do multiple entries, uh, like subscribe to the channel, find us on Facebook, give us a like, leave a comment, things like that. Yeah, we'll that give you the full good. details as we go through. Um, yeah, and that Kickstarter goes live on the 24th of October. Cool. So we've got to be quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, in the house and playing uh, the Gothic game. All right. Um, I'll say that. We've got that one coming as well that I booked in today. Which one's this? Rune... Uh, what's it? How do you pronounce it? <laughs> R-U-N-A-L-J-O-D. Rune Yold. Rune Yold? Rune Yold. It's Viking Sounds game. Viking, yeah. Yeah, it's Viking game. Okay. Uh, it's coming from Europe. Um, they were, Yeah. They thought I lived in America and I said, no, I live in the UK. And they're like, we'll send you a game, but... It's going to arrive next week and then we get to play it and then we're going to send it back to them because they're going to Spiel in Essen, which I want to go to. I can't. Uh, maybe next year. Next year. Um, I think that's it. I think it's, I think it's everything. I'm... That, 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 that. 
Um, oh yeah, Twitch. We're gonna go live on Twitch at some point. Um, I'll leave the link below. Um, come and subscribe. Oh, it's not a subscribe. It's it's what is it? Add membership. I can't remember what it's called. I have no idea. <laughs> I am totally new to Twitch. It's been a while since I've been on it. Uh, Expect delays and errors. <laughs> so yeah. So um, because we are stuck with the equipment we've got at the minute. Um, we are going to try and do a recorded and a live stream at the same time mm -hmm. using two phones. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> Everything will be alright on the night. It'll be fine. Which is a lie. <laughs> it is, it is, but it'll be fun. So join us. It'll be good. It'll be fine. Um, um, I think that's it. Anything you got in the works? Uh, everything, to be honest. Um, at this point, I've, yeah, I've got so much to do, but... You'll see it when it comes out. I'll be posting um, articles or reviews and things on the uh, Facebook page. Yep. Um, which uh, I hope will start to be building up a bit more. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it's mostly RPG related, um, but you know, it'll be good stuff in there. There's advice on how to do things, stuff for new players, stuff for new GMs, all that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, watch that space. And we're D&D -D soon. We are D&D -D soon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna flip a coin to use the DM. <laughs> it's gonna be jump. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it probably is. But we'll um, see how that goes. Well, I'm still doing type up my notes on mine. So. Yeah, well, everything I own is in a box in Elsmere Port somewhere. Well, so. Everything I own is on a shelf <laughs> over there. <laughs> okay. um, right, so I think that's it. That's yep. us covered. Uh, well. Giveaway coming up. Uh, going live on Twitch. D and D. Uh, prototypes galore because I've been quite cheeky and he's been great <laughs> it's great <laughs> um, that's about it if you're a game developer and you want your game on here give us a shout uh, you'll find us on www.facebook.com forward slash summon dash games I think that's it <laughs> um, I'll leave the link below um, share like subscribe let's start getting our numbers up because we want to be famous we don't really want to be famous. <laughs> I can't stand This face does not want to I, be I can't uh, stand being on camera. Right, that's it. All right, we're going. Uh, have fun. See you later, Play guys. more games. Catch you guys later.